Hi, welcome to BLTV News. I'm your anchor, Julian. There's been a lot of upcoming events, including new stores, events, games, and so much more. Here to start is our local newswoman, Gwen. Thanks, Julian and Caitlin. Now for some local school news. For those of you interested in getting your 10 volunteer hours done early, the Misk Aquarium has some great opportunities. If you're good with kids and arts and crafts, this is the perfect thing for you. Dino Treats in the Dark is October 27th and 28th. If you're interested in signing up, you can head on over to the Career Center. Now, back to the studio. That's fantastic, Gwen. Make sure to check out that event. And now for school news. Caitlin? Thanks, Julian. Last Friday, we had a home game against Killingly High School. The score was 49 to zero. The football team's record so far this season is no wins. Hopefully, they'll win one soon. Coming up this Saturday is homecoming. The ticket prices are $15, so make sure you buy them during lunch before time runs out. The spirit days for the rest of the week are Pink Out Wednesday, Taki Taurus Thursday, and Friday is Movie Character. Also coming up soon, the Interact Club is hosting a comedy show Saturday, November 3rd at 8 p.m. at the Pocketuck VFW. The ticket prices are $20 and there will be a raffle. Now back to Julian. Thank you, Caitlin. Make sure to get those homecoming tickets before they run out. They're going fast. And make sure to dress up for Spirit Week. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now it's time for our questionnaire with Haley. Thanks, Caitlin and Julian. Many people have been complaining about the seating arrangement in the cafeteria this year and many other issues. So I decided to go and investigate. Here's what people, including staff, had to say. Okay, there's too many people for one. Very obnoxious and they throw food. You know, it's, you know, eight, eight people to a table, that's kind of, you know, ridiculous. I feel like there's not enough space for kids to sit and, like, spread out. And, I mean, it's a big group, but there's a lot of kids. It's cold it's here. Fix the vents. No one cleans up their stuff. People need to start cleaning up their stuff. Well, I think that things have been a little different this year in the cafeteria. We have new policy that says that we have no more than 10 sitting at a table because it was really not safe and not clean with more than 10 at a table. I started at 8, then I moved it to 9, and I, I said 10 is a good limit. Something that should be improved is the overall noise level in the cafeteria because sometimes it gets very loud where you can't hear what's going on. Uh, I think to improve the lunchroom environment, if we made the lines kind of expedite a little bit quicker for buying lunch, it would be a lot better for those who do. I'm always tired because I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I would like to bring in coffee to drink during lunch. So the school bathrooms that are over on like this side of the cafeteria that are always closed, it's really hard when I'm in like a math class or something because I have to walk across like the school to get to the only open bathrooms and it's really annoying. The students have been pretty good cleaning up after themselves but still some, I don't know why, they feel like they're not responsible to clean up their own mess here in the Cafe Commons. So we're still working with those people. Um, there's some immaturity, but overall, uh, the students are doing a much better job than last year.